Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the park bench. Will Except it... we're, we're, we're not on a park bench. No, we moved. It's, because... it's over there. Yeah. It's over there. You, you took a shot from up there, yeah. actually, with me waving. This is a breakwater. In Sheerness. Sheerness. We've gone from Shenley <laughs> in the previous videos to Sheerness. Did I just whistle with that? I think you just whistled with that. I'm not sure how, because you can't whistle like no. that. No. But well done. Sheerness. <laughs> Uh, which is where we came to film the SS Richard Montgomery, and if you haven't seen that video, it is now linked on a card just there. And we can actually see it over there. We, we can, can but... this is the thing, because lies, lies of lenses, which is what we want to come over here and talk about, and you are the expert on. Now, we filmed that from really quite far away. Yes. Yeah. Just to get a nicer shot of it. Yeah. Now, the problem is, something far off in the distance, it's little tiny. <laughs> Small, <laughs> far away. Small, Father Ted reference. Good play. Um, um, so to try and make it so then it looks larger in relation to Tom, so he can gesture at it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were hesitating to go with some really technical term, and it was the word larger. <laughs> I'd like to point out that we are filming this at the end of the day that we filmed the other one. Yeah, it's been it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, so we, we wanted it to appear larger in the frame next to Tom so he can gesture yes. at it. And we can't get close to the boat, A, because there's an exclusion zone around it, and B, because it's a mile and a half offshore from Sheerness. Sheerness. Where we are, and two miles from where we actually filmed on the Isle of Grain. So your choice is either somehow hire a boat and get a stabilised camera, or rent a really big lens. Telephoto lenses have the property in that they collapse the frame. Yeah. They collapse the frame. That's the, that's the term, yeah. But that means that if I was standing where I normally am for a shot like this and the boat's in the background, all you're gonna see is this little bit of my face zoomed in incredibly and out of focus. Because we had a 100 to 400 Canon lens, I normally use a 24 to 105. I don't know what those numbers mean. It's the, the length. Generally, the focal length. All oh, right, okay. So we've got some dogs coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, focal, focal length, right. Um, uh, definitely doggy time. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Hello, dog. <laughs> That's fine. It's not fine. You don't like dogs. No, I can't <laughs> stand them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if we will film on the beach. Yes. So your choice is for hire a really expensive lens or film with a regular lens that is somehow recording in 16K resolution and... Crop it. Crop and crop and crop and crop and crop. I actually took a shot of how far away you were from me filming that. Oh, I took one the other day. I, I Instagrammed it. Of, uh, my, 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 with the big camera in the shot. Right, so, tiny little Tom in the so we'll, we'll have cut to both of those. I will actually have to circle you because it looks like you're camouflaged hidden in the middle of some bushes. Wasn't I wearing a bright blue coat? Okay, apart from that bit. <laughs> but this is kind of the lies of filming. Because anything like this, any time you see someone standing next to the Statue of Liberty, I've done that shot, uh, for, for something that didn't make it to YouTube, um, I've done that shot. I am not standing next to the Statue of Liberty. I'm standing on Battery Park at the end of Manhattan. The Statue of Liberty is three miles away yes. from me, and there is someone with an incredibly long lens at the other end of Battery Park. <laughs> and I am standing there at the end of New York, just kind of talking. It was the same here. I'm standing on the breakwater talking to nothing. Because <laughs> you're, what, how long away? 100 metres, 200 metres? Yeah. Yeah. And, you, I mean, you're fine, you've got a camera, it's obvious what you're doing, you're lurking in bushes with a long lens camera. <laughs> I was. I, I was. <laughs> now, the other effect of those lenses, as you'll see in the video if you've watched it, is that um, the depth of field changes as well. Mm. So, and... The, Which the is, focus, it's the, it's the slice of the frame between the camera and the action. It helps if I point the mic at me, really. I was going to say. The slice of the frame between the camera and the action that's in focus becomes smaller the more yeah. you zoom in with the telephoto lens. So a narrow depth of field gives you that gorgeous shot where you have the subject in focus and the background blurry. So you'll see Tom is should be in glorious focus. <laughs> I haven't checked Good the luck. footage. <laughs> and then you'll be able to see the boat larger, but a little bit blurrier. But yeah. you can get you can get the Yeah, get sometimes the you want that effect, sometimes you don't. Like uh, iPhone, GoPro, everything like that, by default we'll try and keep as much in focus as reasonably possible. Because you don't have time to set up your shots. Yeah. This there was a long period of me standing on that cold <laughs> break uh, not break uh, cold what do you call that? Sea defence? Sea defence. Sea defence. Yeah. 
um, where you, I was just standing there and watching people go, ah, hello. I can see defence. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's the thing at the end of the beach, <laughs> yes. Well done. <laughs> Long day. Yeah. The other, th- the other reason you will know about those lenses, and you'll have seen, even if you know nothing about photography, is you will know the vertigo shot, the Alfred Hitchcock dolly yeah. pull shot. Alfred Hitchcock. It's, it's French all of a sudden. Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> the Alfred Hitchcock dolly pull vertigo shot. Which is when you, it's the shot, the person in frame stays at the same point in the frame, but the background just sort of whooshes away or mm. flattens or it's, compresses. It's the moment from Jaws where he thinks he sees the shark attack and the whole world kind of collapses in on him. It's the moment from uh, Alfred Hitchcock where the whole world's like, oh, I can't see a thing wrong. It's the world spinning around you. And they do that by putting the camera on a dolly. Yeah, uh, so a, a track, a moving, track back and forth. moving backwards forwards and then they zoom in or out while it moves backwards or forwards. Yeah. So what you're seeing there, if you know that shot, and I'm sure there's a gif I can paste in here somewhere, um, is that's the difference between zoom and moving the camera. Zooming, you're cropping but keeping it looking good. Moving the camera, you're actually physically moving it small, far away, small, yeah. far away. But the reason I call it lies is because that ship is not actually that close to the shore. I mean, it is. Everything, yeah. everything in that video is true. If the worst, the worst case scenario is uh, the, the largest non-nuclear explosion in history, and literally, if that were to happen right now, I would not want to be sitting here. No, you would hear a boom, and we'd go, "What the?" No, you wouldn't, because sound delay. You'd see a flash. Yeah. We'd go, "What the?" And before we could start to swear, that's it. We're <laughs> gone, and uh, somewhere between. Uh, charred no, and evaporate. They wouldn't even see that because we because wouldn't have the, uploaded it. <laughs> that's fair. If <laughs> you camera. see this footage, the ship has not gone up. Yes. Spoilers. Um, uh, all that is true. But if you actually take a photo of the ship from where I was, which I did, again, I'm going to have to circle it. Because from where we are, it actually looks fairly close. It looks yeah. looks reasonably... That could, that could kill us. But on camera, it does. It's like, you ever try like to... When you're trying to take a photo of a plane. I was go, just about ah, to say that. Where is it? <laughs> or the moon. You see the moon yes. rising. You go, oh, that's a good... Oh. oh. Lenses don't work as well as your eyes. Yes. Your eyes are f***ing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. If you want to see why I bleeped that, we've got a video about that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, because your eyes only see a tiny, tiny amount. Your brain fills in the rest. Mm. So, what, so you think you're seeing a lot, a lot, a lot better than you are. Whereas with a camera, it's like, well, this, this is terrible. It's because you, your brain's a lot better at processing it than a camera is. Yeah. Because if you take the time to frame the shots, you can you can lie about all sorts of things. You can you can make something look a lot closer than it is, or a lot further away, or just nicer. Because yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you. This place looks a bit better on camera because the, the I, it, I'm sure Sheerness is lovely. But and we're here on a cold, windy... Yeah, winter's, winter's day. day. And it reminds me... What does it remind you of? Anglesey? The Wirral? No, the Isle of Grain is the Wirral. Yeah. I hate the Wirral. <laughs> Sorry anyone who lives on the Wirral. At one point, I will have to explain why I hate the Wirral. <laughs> the, the Wirral is not a phrase you say near him. <laughs> Don't like the bloody Wirral. <laughs> Do not like the Wirral. He's not even acting. He just <laughs> it's anyway. <laughs> but it's, this whole area's got the whole flat, not barren. It's yeah, it's just, industrial. Yeah. It's it's a little bit worn down. But we've sat on the prettiest bit we could find, with the ocean behind us. Well, the estuary behind the estuary, us, yeah. on a on a calm day, and it's turned out quite nice. Hmm. Unfortunately, Sheerness, that's mostly lies. Sorry, I'd, I'd say I'd say sorry to Sheerness, but it's not like I'm ever going to come back here. I may regret. I may live to regret that. <laughs> I'm probably going to live to regret that. <laughs> sorry, Sheerness. <laughs> What's happening with my hair? I don't. On my. Oh, I need a haircut. Like oh, I've been a haircut. I was going to have one last night, but then Ben and Jerry's happened. <laughs> I was going to have one, but I, I still need to do a pickup shot for something I filmed, and I can't uh... get a hair. <laughs> I can't get a haircut until I've done that pick again. Not something for YouTube, but I can't do the pickup shot, uh, the haircut until I have the pickup shot, because otherwise I will walk out of one frame and walk into the other <laughs> with less hair. 